Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to Trippy Commentaries. Thanks for checking out the episode. I'm RJ. We are back in GTA Online. Every Thursday, Rockstar has been adding new content into the game. And it's been pretty apparent right from the beginning of the Diamond Casino DLC that they are hinting Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Is Vice City going to come back for GTA 5, guys? I think it will. I'll show you some evidence and let you know why I think that the Diamond Casino could be opening up in Vice City and we'll be visiting it. So thanks again for joining up. Be sure to subscribe if you are new. We'll cover all the new content. Every Thursday morning we'll do a live, so hit the notification button. It'll let you know whenever they begin. So the first car you could win here at the casino was the newest car, of course, the brand new car added into the game. But since then, they added two Vice City cars to win. This was the second one. We'll go check out the third. And like I said, I got a lot to show off in this video, guys. So I'll meet you inside the casino. Let's go. One issue is that the car is pink. Of course, you can change the color if you want. But this is the classic Infernus. Now, Vice City was my very first GTA game. And the Infernus was by far my favorite car in the game. Except for motorcycles, I would make sure I always had an Infernus on standby. So, you know, wondering what the next car would be, trying to think, is it going to be another Vice City clue? And sure enough, it is probably, you know, one of the best cars from all of Vice City. It's a head scratcher, guys. I think that Vice City is going to come back in the form of a remaster. Like I said, nothing new has come up when it comes to GTA 6. And we're seeing so many games be remastered these days from Crash Bandicoot Racing, Spyro, and they all come out great. I played Vice City recently, and I'm telling you guys, that that city does not need to be updated. You know, of course, graphics, that would be great. But as far as the size, the landscape, I think that it would fit right in to GTA 5 as an expansion. Of course, you've probably seen the Vice City slot machine. I gotta find it, but that could be another clue. What the heck? Who won the car? Are you kidding me? We need to win the car. Okay. Anybody even around here? Was it you, Trippy EG? Did you win the car? I heard the announcement. You won the Vice City car? Congratulations, bro. Well done, man. Well done. Hopefully you can drive it in Vice City. Can we ship it down to Miami? So the Vice City slot machine is right over here, right there in the corner. It is called Vice City PI Angel Knight. Like I said, between the cars and the Vice City slot machine, it seems to be obvious clues. Let's head up to the penthouse, guys, because there's something else that I think maybe points out the Diamond Casino is going to come back once again. Here we are in the trippy penthouse. Now take a look at the t-shirt. It says Diamond Casino and Resort with a line underneath saying Los Santos, basically telling us there are multiple versions of the Diamond Casino and Resort. I'm sure one would be in Las Venturas. We'd all like to go back there as well. But could it be that there's a Diamond Casino in Resort in Vice City and that is why we have to go there? Now, I do live in Florida and I can tell you the only casinos are Indian casinos. But from the research that I did about California, it's basically the same thing there. Meaning that there is no real Diamond Casino in Los Angeles. They managed to pull it off and add one into Los Santos. And that is why I think we'll see one in Vice City as well. Now, another clue, take a look at this picture. I pointed this out several times, and I did put up a video showing a lot more Vice City clues. I'll put a link in the description. But if you look in the corner, of course, you got the alien, all the biggest secrets from GTA 5. But take a look at that to the right of the books on the shelf. Do you see that? It almost looks like a football. Well, that is actually the chocolate egg, the biggest hidden Easter egg, literally an egg from Vice City. That is it hidden right there in this new picture added to the Casino DLC, considering it shows all the biggest secrets, the Wolfman or the Beast, the Ghost, they also threw in the Vice City Egg. So I'm going to show you some footage, guys. Vice City, the Infernus, and the Egg. What's your high score, bro? Here we are, the rooftops of Vice City. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about the chopper spot. Well, if you jump through this window, you can find that chocolate egg with that same pedestal now represented in the casino update. We're going back to Vice City, guys. I can feel it. Look at that, the Lamborghini. 
aka the Infernus in GTA Vice City. You can win it now at the casino. So I've had a few people complain because it's not a brand new car. It's just the fact that Rockstar has added two Vice City cars in a row, along with all the clues. I think it would be so easy for them to remaster the game. It wouldn't take as long as just making an entirely new version of Vice City. Look at the city, guys. With some better graphics, it would fit right in to the Los Santos-style gameplay from GTA 5. But there it is, guys, and I'm happy that we can now win. I got him. You can also find it displayed in the mall, just like in the Diamond Casino. But here you can actually steal it, drive around in the Infernus, in the mall. Of course, three stars here. Get out of there, and then you can have the Infernus at a pretty early stage in the game. Will this double-sided art just end up being a foreboding image of our future in a Vice City expansion? I sure hope so. I want to get eaten by a shark in Vice City. If you look at this guitar on display, that is the Love Fist guitar. Of course, Love Fist being introduced in GTA Vice City. And you even got the football right here, signed by BJ, one of the characters you do missions for as Tommy Versetti. Get out of here, LJT. So I think that Vice City's got the best voice actors in the entire GTA series. Why not try to restore it all, bring it back for a remastered GTA 5 DLC? You could just have the story mode and then drop the city into online. Look at the new picture, guys. If you've been playing the new update, you've been rewarded with this painting or whatever it is. You can put it in your penthouse to show off. It says the Diamond Casino and Resort. Vinewood, Los Santos. How about we get another one? Diamond Casino Resort, Vice City. I hope so, guys. There's so many Vice City vibes going on. You know, I see... All these different clues towards that game, yet not too much for San Andreas. GTA 3, we've been back to Liberty City. We've been back to San Andreas. I think it's time to go back to Vice City, my friends. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. We first could win the Thrax, which looks like it came from the future. It's cool and all, but since then, they've been taking us to a more vintage South Beach style with the Turismo and now the Infernus. It's not like they haven't added other new cars into the game. Why not let us win the Viser Neo or the Anis S8ORR? Instead, they take us to the old school cars that have been in the game for a while. A lot of people have complained because they already own it. So to me, it seems like a pretty direct hint. Definitely sub if you are new. Hit the like button. That helps out more than you know. I'll have another new video as we have a lot to show off in Red Dead Redemption 2. Another Rockstar classic. And we'll even be doing a Vice City Marathon live stream here at the channel soon. So stay tuned. Chelonia! And as always, stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?